In this video, we are going to talk about how to find the area of a sector. So when we say area of the sector, in a circle of radius r, the area of a sector with a central angle measuring radians is area equals 1 half r square theta, where a is the area of the sector, r is the radius of the circle, theta is the central angle of a circle. So as you can see in the given figure, in circle O, OA and OB is the radius. And then this angle is what we call the central angle. And then this shaded region, it is the area of the sector. So these are the information that we're going to use in order for us to find the area of the sector. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, find the area of the sector of a circle with a central angle 120 degrees if the radius of the circle is 3 meters. So let us identify first the given. Radius, that is 3 meters. And then, central angle, that is 120 degrees. So to find the area of the sector, central angle must be in radian. So let us convert 120 degrees in radian. So we have 120 degrees multiplied by pi over 180 degrees. So let us cancel the degree symbol and then 0. We're going to have 12 pi over 18. 12 and 18 can be written in simplest form because 12 and 18 is divisible by 6. So 12 becomes 2 and 18 becomes 3. So therefore, 120 degrees in radian, that is 2 pi over 3. So this will be the value of our central angle. And then let us use the formula. Area equals 1 half r square theta. So we're going to have 1 half, and then radius, that is 3 meters. So we're going to have 3, then square, and then central angle in radian, that is 2 pi over 3. So to simplify our answer, we're going to have 3 square multiplied by 1, that is 9, times 2 pi over 2 times 3. So we can cancel 2, and then 9 and 3 is divisible by 3. So 9 becomes 3, and 3 becomes 1. Therefore, we're going to have 3 pi over 1, or simply 3 pi. So this will be the area of the sector. But if you want to find the exact value of the area of the sector, we are going to substitute the value of pi, that is 3.14. So we're going to have 3 times 3.14. So 3 times 3.14, that is 9.42 meter square. So this will be the area of our sector. On example number 2, we are going to find the area of the sector of a circle with a central angle that measures 75 degrees if the radius of the circle is 6 meters. So let us write the given here. Radius, that is 6 meters. And then theta, or the central angle, that is 75 degrees. So again, let us convert degrees to radian because the area of the sector must be in radian. So we're going to have 75 degrees multiplied by pi over 180 degrees. So we can cancel the degree symbol. And then we're going to have 75 pi over 180. 75 and 180 is divisible by 15. So 75 becomes 5 and 180 becomes 12. So therefore, 75 degrees in radian, that is 5 pi over 12. 
So this will be our central angle. And then, we are going to use the formula area equals one half r square theta. So we have one half and then the radius that is six meters. So six and then square central angle in radian that is five pi over 12. So to simplify our answer, six square that is 36 multiply by pi pi over 2 times 12. And then, 2 multiply by 12, that is 24. So we're going to have here 36 times 5 pi over 24. So we can simplify 36 and 24 because 36 and 24 is divisible by 12. So 36 becomes 3, and then 24 becomes 2. So we're going to have 3 times pi pi over 2. 3 multiplied by 5, that's 15 pi over 2. So this will be the area of the sector. But let us write the value of pi, that is 3.14. So we're going to have 15 times 3.14 over 2. 15 times 3.14, that is 47.1. Divide by 2. So 47 divide by, or 47.1 divide by 2, that is 23.55. Square. So this will be the area of our sector. On example number three, find the area of the sector of a circle with a central angle that measures pi over three if the radius of the circle is three feet. So as you can see, the measure of the central angle is already written in radian. So all we have to do to find the area of the sector is to substitute the value of the central angle and the radius. But let us identify first the given. So we have radius, that is 3 feet, and then central angle, that is pi over 3. And then we are going to use the formula area equals 1 half r square theta. So we have 1 half, and then radius, that is 3 feet. So we're going to have 3, then square, radian, or central angle, that is pi over 3. So to simplify, we're going to have 3 square multiplied by 1, that is 9, times pi over 2 times 3. Then to simplify our answer, we have 9 pi over 2 times 3, that is 6. Then, 9 and 6 is divisible by 3. So 9 becomes 3, and 6 becomes 2. So we have 3 pi over 2. And then the value of pi, that is 3.14. So we have 3 times 3.14 over 2. Then, 3 multiply by 3.14, that is 9.42. Divide by 2. 9.42 divide by 2, that is 4.71 feet square. So this will be the area of the sector. And then a number 4, Find the area of the sector of a circle with a central angle that measures 3 pi over 4 if the radius of the circle is 5 centimeters. So let us write the given radius that is 5 centimeter. Then central angle that's 3 pi over 4. And then the formula area is 1 half r square theta. 
then substitute the value of radius and theta. So we have 1 half, and then 5 square, then 3 pi over 4. Then we have 5 square multiplied by 1, that is 25. Multiply by 3 pi over 2 times 4. Then to simplify our answer, we're going to have 25 multiplied by 3, that's 75. Pi over 2 times 4, that's 8. Then, let us change the value of pi into 3.14, that is 75, multiplied by 3.14 over 8. Then, 75 multiplied by 3.14, that is 235. 0.5 divided by 8. 235.5 divided by 8, that is 29.4375 centimeter square. So this will be the area of our sector. On example number 5, find the radius of a circle in which a central angle of pi pi over 18 radians determine a sector of area 64 meter square. So as you can see in number 5, we are looking for the radius with a given central angle and area of the sector. So let us identify first the given. So the area of the sector, that is 64 meter square. And then the central angle, that is pi pi over 18 and we are looking for radius and then we're going to use the formula area equals one half r square theta so let us substitute the value of area which is 64 meters square equals one half r square and then central angle that's 5 pi over 18 so to simplify, we're going to have 64 equals 1 r square pi times 5 pi over 2 times 18. So let us write our answer here. So we have 64 and then we have 1 times r square times 5 pi. That's 5 pi r square over so multiply by 18, that's 36. And then, let us multiply 64 and 36. So we're going to have 64 multiplied by 36 equals pi pi r square. 64 multiplied by 36, that is 2,304 equals pi pi r square. So to find the value of r, we're going to divide the whole equation by pi pi. Then, we're going, we're going, we are going to cancel this one. That is r square equals 2,304 divided by 5. And then the value of pi, that is 3.14. Then, to simplify... We have 2,304 divided by 5 times 3.14, that is 15.7. So we have R square equals 2,304 divided by 15.7, that is 146.7516. Then... Let us square both sides to eliminate the exponent. So R is 12.11 meters. So this will be our radius. Okay? So number six, find the radius of the circle in which a central angle is 40 degrees determines the sector of area 200 meter square. So as you can see, 
the central angle is not written in radian. So we are going to convert 40 degrees to radian. So radian or theta, that is 40 times pi over 180 degrees. So we're going to cancel the degree symbol in zero. Then we're going to have 4 pi over 18. Then 4 over 18, that is 2 over 9. So 40 degrees in radian, that is 2 pi over 9. So this would be our central angle. And then we have the area, that's 200 meter square. Then we are going to use the formula area equals one half r square theta. Then area that is 200 meters square equals one half radius r square times theta should be in radian that is 2 pi over 9. So we, we are going to cancel this one and we're going to have 200 equals 1 times r square times pi that's pi r square over 9 and then let's multiply 9 by 200 that is 1800 equals pi r square then let us divide the whole equation by pi. Let's cancel this one. So we have here r square, that is 1,800 divided by pi. The value of pi is 3.14. So we have 1,800 divided by 3.14. 1,800 divided by 3.14. That is 573.2484 R square. Then to find the value of R, let us square both sides of the equation. So let us cancel this one. So radius is 23.94 meters. So this will be our radius. So I hope you learned from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy learning. Thank you so much and God bless us all.